this is Craig Duncan of ISDR and Andrew Koss of VTH Zurich. And uh, we've just finished uh, co-facilitating a session on developing capacities for disaster risk reduction through professional networking. The session had three invited speakers. Andrew? Okay, so we had three main speakers. That was Evergene Moore of the Emergency Information Infrastructure Project, Willie Graff from the Natural Resources and Environment Division of SDC, and Alan Lavelle from Lared, uh, based in uh, Costa Rica. The three invited speakers um, gave some very engaging information um, with a lot of energy. Um, three different, very different contexts for, for network uh, communities. Evergene Moore talked about a, a, a structured network um, that where they choose thematic themes for discussion um, and invite people to come and take part online. Willie Graff talked about organisational aspects of networks, which is being used to completely um, reform the, the, the approach to thematic work in the SDC. And Ellen Lavelle talked about La Red, which is a community uh, focused on social aspects of disaster risk reduction. Some of the topics in the session include the diversity and variation in networks and uh, even through their own lifespan they sometimes uh, go through different cycles and uh, Alain Lavelle uh, d described La Red as being in phase three, phase one, uh, phase two, uh, a difficult phase and now rejuvenated. So networks go through different periods of strength and weaknesses. Uh, some of the interesting metaphors that were described were uh, a field of wildflowers that have to be, have the right conditions to grow, um, a network being like a pub, some people come every day and therefore form the core, some people only come once in a while. And uh, the three speakers describe the emotional attachment that uh, people have to networks, which is a very important part of the uh, of the the um, the involvement in it. It's not impersonal; it's very personal. Okay. So our three outcomes for the 100 ideas is that. Um, We'd like to see that, a, that there's a, a sponsored meeting of DRRR network organisers, the people who, who are at the centre um, facilitating or managing um, to develop the capacity of, the, of, of, of these people to um, facil facilitate further developments of those networks. Um, and also to provide the means to, to connect to different networks. We feel this is a, a, a very important aspect, um, the sponsorship aspect. The second related uh, topic is that uh, we feel that greater emphasis should be placed on identifying the champions or potential champions of networks in thematic areas and uh, that the motivation uh, should be rewarded uh, through invitation to conferences like this and sponsorship. Often these people are working in unpaid capacity and should be recognized and supported as much as possible through uh, training and through invitation and a conference like IDRC should have these people present. Evergene Moore and uh, Ellen Lavelle talked about two very successful uh, communities, uh, networks, and one of the issues that came up was that the success was based on the, 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 the time that they entered into getting these networks set up, which was 10 plus years um, ago. There are many networks now appearing. There are many in existence. There are tools for facilitating these networks. And one of the important things is, is the, the issue about the interconnectedness of these networks. And so we need to talk about the interoperability of network support tools. This should be a very high priority. 
um, and also the ethical responsibilities behind that. So, maybe you can... Uh, Marcus Haas from IDRC uh, showed us one of these uh, new tools that's been produced and, and launched at uh, the IDRC conference, and we'd like to see it interoperable, and uh, it will be the follow-up for the 100 ideas and a place to discuss them further.